Hey there, my name is Marquis, and today I'm going to show you how I stay organized inside of Asana. I'm going to start out by showing you what my daily routine looks like, and then I'm going to show you maybe three or four other things that I think you may be underutilizing if you are on the platform or maybe not even know about. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the My Tasks view. And so what I want to show you um, about this is this is what I often see a lot of my clients' um, My Task view looks like. It's just a block of tasks it seems to be unending and a lot of people can get overwhelmed pretty quickly so there's a few different views and at the time of this recording it is December the 6th 2020 um, Asana has just released an update um, that said that they're gonna be changing what this looks like so be on the lookout for a new video in the next couple of weeks but um, one thing that I uh, that often helps me is I come in here and I change my sorting so instead of sorting by due date which gives you this block here I go in and I turn off all sorting. I know it sounds kind of counterproductive, but trust me, follow for a minute, you're gonna like what I have to show you. So you still have this block of text, but you can reorganize them. And now you have these handy today, upcoming and later um, sections that you can put your tasks away into. So when something is assigned to you, you have um, it here it will show up in the top section under recently assigned and then you can decide where you want to put it so at first glance I'm gonna take a look at these tasks these ones are due today and I'm gonna highlight them all by holding down shift and then you can do one of two things you can click on here and you can mark it for today mark it for upcoming or mark it um, for later because it's for today I'm gonna click mark for today and there's a shortcut if you want to do it really quickly so I'm gonna mark that for today um, and then anything for tomorrow typically my rule of thumb is anything for tomorrow or that's happening like this week right if you can see the day um, we kind of sort into the upcoming tabs so I'm gonna go tab you and it gets them out of this view and then anything beyond that all this stuff you see right here um, we have one that's overdue maybe I'll just update that one so we can use it in this example uh, there we go anything that is beyond you know today or what's happening this week I would put in later just to get it out of our field of view so I'm gonna highlight all these again by clicking and holding um, pressing shift I'm gonna go tab L and then it gets it out of that view so as you can see it moves them all down there and then I can close up this section and then so I'm gonna do the same thing with upcoming just close it up right there so now instead of that giant list of just everything overwhelming you you're not sure where to start you're not sure how to set priorities you can just come in here and you can change that view and it's all sorted for you and what I love about this feature as well um, is that there's an auto promote uh, feature in it so if you do have something in later as the date you know comes to you know next week or a week out um, it will automatically move that task from the later to the upcoming section and then once today happens typically at you know midnight the, d the day before it will move it from upcoming to today so you always see what's happening in the top view um, I actually take this a step further and I'm going to switch over to my um, my actual um, workspace now versus the demo but within my today view I have a few other sections where it's urgent and important and typically that's anything for you know if I have to deal with anything finances related or financially related um, urgent and not important basically just setting priorities for myself right so today I am doing this video how I stay organized in Asana. It's not urgent, but it's important, right? People have been asking for content like this, so I wanna get it out. So this just helps me to prioritize my day. And then obviously with any of these due dates, you can drill down and I've seen people where they go in and they add a time. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna do this at 3 p.m. on that day. And then you can just kind of slide these, you know, in and around the sections, and then you can see exactly what's due, when, and how it's going to happen. So actually, I'm gonna change this right here because this video is currently in production um, one other thing that I will tell you before we move on from this is this handy feature so if you're not you know in Asana all the time or you have a shared calendar using Google calendars um, there's a really handy tool here you can go sync to calendar right you can copy this link right here and then you can add that to your Google Calendar as well. And it shows up in the daily view as an all day task. So you can see, um, I'm gonna show you in a minute why that would be really helpful, but you can see at a quick glance, everything that's happening in Asana is also linked over to Google. 
I'm going to show you another thing if we go back to this space right here. Um, saved searches, and I use these a lot um, to make sure that I can have maximum visibility. And so if you never use the search um, feature, you should really look into it because it, it helps to speed things up. And so one thing I'm going to show you is just I'm going to go to advanced search. I'm going to do assigned to me. I'm going to go all projects and what I want to see is all the milestones. So if I'm a project manager, um, a product owner, whatever the case may be, I want to see the milestones. I want to have those milestones in Google, for example, and have that linked to my Google Calendar so that I can see it or I can share that link with the client and they can see it as well. So I'm going to go here, click off milestones. I want to see milestones only and I want to see all the incomplete milestones. And so I'm going to search for that and it's going to bring up all of those in my view. So I can then save this report um, and I've already done that right here. I've called it my milestone. So I'm going to click over to that. And as you can see, it shows in two different views. You can see the calendar view or you can see the list view here. And by default, I've just got it to save to calendar view because this is what you're going to be seeing if you are using Google Calendar. And you can see all the milestones, everything that you know, you're responsible for and when it's happening. I think that's a really underutilized um, feature that a lot of people might not even know about. The next I'm going to show you is portfolios. This is how I stay on top of all the projects that are happening across um, the organization. And so you can quickly add projects here. Again, this is a demo space, and so you're not seeing real live work and there are no updates. But I keep everything here so you can see at a quick glance if you know stuff is checked off. You can also view um, by, by milestone here. And so if you're tracking milestones, you can see you know what's happening at the project level all within one view. And then of course, if you click into it, you can update the status here and provide a status update or request a status update update from the person that owns the project as well. Um, within this, you have different um, custom fields. So you can, you know, um, see what the approval stage is of it. You can add in, you know, custom fields as well. In this case, I've just added in, you know, a proposed budget. So we have, you know, this one is 10K and this one's five and it doesn't really matter. But right now, uh, what I want to show you is that I'm sorting by approval stage. So everything that is ready to be reviewed is right there for me. And then if I change it to change as needed, it just jumps down to the next section. So this is a great way if you have a lot that is happening across the organization and you want to keep a pulse on it. This is the best way that I found um, in my workflow to do this. And then typically I'll just come in here, check them off, see what's going on, get an update and then move on with my day. Um, one other thing that I will show you just to like help stay organized is, you know, when you get a notification in your inbox, and again, this is a demo space, so there's no real activity here, but you have, you know, from time to time, you know, overwhelm where this inbox is just overflowing with notifications. And so one thing that I do, if you don't need to be following that task, or you don't want to be updated on that task anymore, um, you can just simply click on the collaborator section and just X out of that. You can, um, we'll put that back for a second. You can also click on leave task right there, right? And that, you know, stops all the notifications. Um, obviously you could, you know, take your name off there, but removing you as a, as a collaborator removes you from getting all notifications on that task. And the last one I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to switch over here just so you can get a better understanding. So here's the notes I'm following for today. Uh, no surprise here, but um, right now what I'm going to show you is this. So a lot of the times, um, those are all the teams and projects that I have in this space, but there's a lot happening in Asana. And if you just really want to get down to it and just like focus in on what you're working on. A couple of things that I that I do is you can close this stuff up. Um, you can close up the reports. You can close up teams. I typically use favorites, right? If you are in any projects um, and you click on that little star there, um, it just adds it to your favorite list. So that's one thing that I do. And then I'm only looking at the tasks that I frequent kind of all the time. Then I can just jump to them really, really quickly. There are my portfolios that are private to me. Here's some other stuff there. But if you really want to just close all of this up, 
shut out the noise you can close up that sidebar as well and then if you're in here quick uh, shortcut is tab x and it puts this into full screen for you so if you're just working on this one task you need to do some writing someone needs something from you you can just jump right in here and do it really really quickly so that's it um, there's so much more that you can do with the sauna but this is typically how i spend my day how i stay really focused how i block out all the noise and get the important work that i need to get done so I'd love to hear what you're doing, right? If there are any tips, any hacks that you're using within Asana to stay organized, to stay on track, leave a comment below. I'd love to get a conversation going and chat more around how your workflow um, typically goes. But if you could do me a favor, if you could um, you know, hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video, just give it a thumbs up really quickly. And most importantly, if you got some value out of this and you think that someone else on your team and your organization family friend would also get something uh, really good out of this I would love for you to share this video with them um, again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time